the S-sensitive C1 Simply Clean or equivalent C1 Pro results are my top picks from the range of Sonicare brush heads. I found that the firmer medium rated bristles of the Simply Clean head give a slightly more invigorating feeling during use compared to the dentist recommended soft bristles of the Sensitive. Both clean the teeth well when used correctly and they fit the vast majority of Sonicare toothbrush handles. Neither has an RFID chip built in. This means that those Sonicare handles with the brush sync notification light won't remind you when a replacement head is due. You will have to rely on the fading indicator bristles. A benefit is that these heads can be cheaper. Equivalent brush sync enabled heads are the S2 Sensitive and the C2 Optimal Plaque Control, also known as the C2 Optimal Plaque Defense brush head. I will shortly look at each head in more detail, but I first want to share some important things I've learned. Don't worry too much about the brush head style you use. There's little between them. It's more important to focus on your brushing technique, time and frequency. Despite the names, the W Optimal White or W3 Premium White brush heads are not going to transform heavily stained and discolored teeth into bright pearly whites overnight. It may take days, or weeks of repeated use for a difference to be realized. Heads should be replaced every three months on average. Replace a head sooner if you notice the bristles are splayed or losing shape. Most Sonicare heads have color changing bristles that fade from a dark blue to a white translucent color to act as a visual reminder to replace them. They are safe to use on crowns, veneers, implants, bridges and braces. The heads are generally always available with a white plastic body. Some, but not all, are made available in black. Brush head names and availability can differ slightly across the globe. With a few exceptions, all the heads will fit Sonicare handles with a push-on, pull-off attachment. Buying larger packs can help bring the cost down. Those looking for the cheapest options should consider third-party alternatives. I've found the quality can be very good, but not all compete with the manufacturer originals. No aftermarket heads have the brush sync compatible RFID chip. I'll now share a little more detail on each specific head, how they differ and what I've found from repeated use. The C1 Simply Clean is the same as the C1 Pro results as far as I can tell. I've spotted the most marginal of differences in the bristle lengths, but the main difference appears to be the color of certain bristles. Simply Clean is more commonly sold in the US, whilst Pro results is more common in Europe. The bristles are cut at varying lengths and have a W profile to them when you look at the head side on. The longer bristles at the top and bottom help reach deeper between the teeth as the head moves between them. S Sensitive has the soft bristles that dentists recommend regularly. It is a larger head so can be more challenging in very cramped mouths. The bristles are of different lengths with longer bristles at the upper tip of the head. There is a wavy pattern to the bristles. This isn't quite as pronounced as some other heads. The following heads are brush sync enabled. This means they have a microchip built in for tracking purposes. They still fit and work on handles that don't support this. You just won't get all the benefits. The C2 Optimal Plaque Control, also known as the C2 Optimal Plaque Defense, isn't quite as long as most others. I'd suggest about 25% smaller. This can make it a bit easier to move about in smaller mouths or more cramped spaces. The bristles are of a medium firmness, cut at varying lengths and heights to provide a good overall clean. The G2 Optimal Gum Care Head is the same overall size as the C2. However, the bristles are cut differently with more curvature to cut the tooth surface. I'd expected the bristles to be softer given they're designed for stimulating gum health but they are of a medium firmness like the C2 head. They are not ultra soft like the sensitive head. The W Diamond Clean, also known as W2 Optimal White, looks a bit different to other heads. The bristle configuration is more angular with a diamond shape to the head and bristle tips. It looks and feels more dense. You can feel the difference in use. S2 Sensitive is one of the newest additions to the Philips range. Arguably a more modern version of the S sensitive head retaining the ultra soft bristles. It's about 25% smaller and very similar in bristle arrangement to the C2 optimal plaque control. 
The C3 Premium Plaque Control or Plaque Defense head is essentially the upgrade to the C2 head. The bristle configuration is quite different, with a larger surface area and clusters of bristles organized into a pentagonal shape. It has silicone on the back to make for a pleasant experience in the mouth. I've noticed less chattering if it comes into contact with the teeth. The G3 Premium Gum Care head has quite a different layout of bristles compared to other heads. I can't say I noticed this specifically in use compared to others. I do like the soft back of the head, it's less harsh on the teeth and gums and has some flex to it. The W3 Premium White looks almost identical to the C3 brush head, aside from the colour of the bristles and silicone back. There is possibly the most marginal difference in the cut and potentially more bristles packed into each cluster for a more dense bristle pad. The A3 Premium All-in-One brush head is somewhat in a class of its own. It's designed to be soft on the gums, give a good overall clean and whiten teeth too. I feel like it achieves this. It has one of the most unique bristle formations. There are longer bristles top and bottom with clusters of bristles to create a curved shape as well as squarer configurations. The tips of the bristles are shaped as triangles to maximise the whitening effect compared to rounded tips. It's got the soft back and side to the head. I do think it offers the best overall brushing experience, but it's difficult to justify what is normally a higher price compared to other heads. There are a couple of brush head styles I'm not covered, including Tongue Clean, E-Series, Adaptive Clean and Interclare. These are older and less widely stocked styles now, particularly in the USA and Europe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will do my best to answer.